What's going on guys? Shane D here, your best friend in the entire world, back with a special request. That's right, a request from the man. He, If there is a captain of the Uber Elite Shane Diablo's Commander Club, it is this fellow right here, Paul. Oh, he's back and he's got a request. And it is one from back in the olden timey days. A band that he knew about, a band that, well... I've got the note right here that he sent me, and I'm going to read it to you, because today we're doing Warlord and the song The Aliens, and this is what he wrote about that. I first bought the LP, and the cannons of destruction have begun, only because they were on Metal Blade Records, same as Slayer. During the 80s, magazine Circus and, uh, and Hit Parader always had huge stories on the glam and metal acts. Uh, but there were there would be very tiny black and white ads of Slayer, Show No Mercy, and other underground bands. I saw the Warlord ad and went out and bought it. This is true. This is true. It was like you always saw the you know you know what Stephen Piercy doing, and then it was a little thing that said, "Oh, by the way, King you know King Diamond or someone has something coming on." This was the best lineup in my opinion. Vocalist Ricky Cunningham, aka Damian King the Second, Jesus. Had a great sounding voice, not the strongest, but sounded great. They made a VHS title, a video soundtrack, uh, to show metal audiences how they perform before they planned on playing a show. Well, that da that day never came. LOL. They broke up. The drummer played in Fate's Warning, whom I like. I liked uh, Awaken the Guardian and and No Exit albums in particular. Uh, for a spell after. Uh, they wouldn't play shows until much later in the aughts, in the OOs, when they, uh, when they released Rising Out of the Ashes with Hammerfall Joaquim Sim on vocal. The album was very progressive anyway. And the Cannons, every, every song on that was killer. Check out Lucifer's Hammer, Black Mass, Lost and Lonely Days, Deliver Us from Evil, etc. I always love their 80s music. So that is from the man, Paul Who, and his fine, fine request. I've never heard of this band. I don't know anything about them. I've never seen it before. I've never heard this song. So we're going to get into Warlord the Aliens right now. Ready? Paul, you ready? Here we go. Bang. Drum sound, old. So this is that performance video that they made, right? Like, if you book us in our club, you will get this. Oh. Are they just lip syncing along to the... Or is this like a live performance VHS taped? The aliens! The aliens are here. I mean, they really got a full package. It's too bad they didn't play any gigs. They got the look, they got the stage set up, they got the songs. Oh. Look at that drummer That dude's jamming on his... Playing with his fingers on the bass. Yeah. 
tapping it. Give you some leg kicks. He's got a hairy chest, man. Isn't that chain to get caught up in all that hair? It's like, yeah, it tears away a little patch there, but whatever. Sweeping style of guitar. going off the side of the screen there. Oh, it was a fade. Okay. The aliens. I'd be curious to watch this whole video cassette if it... The aliens, the aliens are here. I'd be curious to see the whole cassette, like if they had like a four or five song little chunk of, of songs. So like, man, you, you, you book us at your, at your concert venue, man, we're going to rock it hard. And here's just a, a, a taste of it. Here's four or five jams, but uh, yes, Paul O, digging deep with the old school. I mean, yeah, where would you, could you imagine how weird is that, that here we are in 2020, Paul O sees a little teeny ad in a circus magazine and buys this uh, album and loves this band, and here it is, 2020, we're bringing it back, Warlord, the Aliens. Uh Bravo, my dear friend. Bra, bravo. Uh, what say you? Any interesting information you can put down about the warlords? Warlord would be fantastic to me. Did you ever see them uh, in your neighborhood? Did you ever own the albums? What's your favorite songs? Get down there in the comments and give us all the information you can hunt down about Warlord, okay? That's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. Be my friend. I love you so damn much. If you have a special hard rock heavy metal request, just like Paul, and you want to see it on this channel, click the link in the description below. Donate a few dollars to the channel. We will get it done for you. Again, Paul is the captain of the Uber Elite Dia Shane Diablo Commanders Club. He is the captain of that. Uh, love you so damn much. Talk to you again soon, okay? Goodbye. Mm -hmm.